Okay, so from your email, I see this is a drunken boxing crab, right? I was slightly confused. So my question, just quickly, is it looks like he is at the beach doing his thing, right? He's not on the water. I mean, given given the drops and everything and the timing, it seems like that's on a land. Um, but then this feels pretty off balance, like he would fall over, which I could kind of buy if it was on the water. I'll let me put one more leg here. Um, that's a funny rig here to get drinking. So my impressions were, gets into this, that's okay. That's really, really fast. Like as you start, the movements here are pretty, well, not photo real, right? But it's pretty okay timing wise, pretty real. It's nothing crazy um, stylized. And then suddenly this happens where it's just, A is pretty fast, but it just comes to a really sudden stop. Like from this frame, to this frame and then here it's not like there's a little bit an overshooting coming back and maybe even in this guy's closing and, co and open again just to give it some more momentum there to kind of buy that sun stop so it just feels everything is just so fast but then right after you get the very slow leg moves it's also weird that the legs are like that like the pinchers thingies like it's on this Actually, I have no idea. Uh, I would have to look at reference to see what they're really doing. I would assume that they're, they will be, you know, potentially a bit more like that. And these guys are in the ground, like the pinchers, like the pointy things are in the ground. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, this works because he's, I guess, because he's drunk, right? So you have to put some variety in how, how he steps. It just feels like if you're doing like this, and it's, that would be a looser, you know, not so stable. Um, what's the word? stabilization on the grabs uh, part so that it will kind of buckle in and it will kind of come over and come back and we go down i don't know there's something that doesn't feel as stable compared to something like this here but then the animation is the same where you treat it while all of this is the same as this here so this is the big thing to me where it just breaks down momentum wise it stops so quickly I'm not quite buying all the weight on this without kind of slipping a bit or something which of course all of this would change if it was on the water, but again, I don't, I don't much, I don't think so. These guys drop a bit too in sync. Kind of would offset that a bit more. This is probably heavier, so this guy could drop a bit sooner. That's cute there. Wow, it's a bit tricky silhouette-wise, where you have kind of the same value, same color there, and it goes in front of the face. It's kind of visible, but it could be a bit clear. You also just change the color of this of this bottle here. But you know, like once we get to here, it's kind of tough to understand the silhouette because of the color. You would have to do that in a more three quarter to get, you know, silhouettes like this. Like that works better, but you could potentially just separate these guys a bit more and then you can have that a bit higher. But it also feels like if you're going this way, it seems like if that's the outstretched arm, would you not do it the other, the other way? Arm down here and that arm is out there with the bottle. Because it's that seems to me like the leaning forward, leading um, position there. I don't know, I'm not be confused about that. See, you have a bit more jiggle there. So it feels like the overshoot is a bit better. But there are a couple things. It just feels like you're still I am stopping this massive mass on a dime. Like this would overshoot and come back a bit more. It's also staying put in that same axis here, same rotation versus it, it overshoots and come, comes back with a slight rotation change, slight translation change. Um, also this feels weird where it's extended and then comes back without really affecting anything in here. Um, I know it's only one arm and it wouldn't massively rotate, the body would rotate down as you know brutally because of one arm or one one leg but still you could have a little bit in it that's okay it just feels also all hitting at the same time it could be more staggered with, ooh, up, with this dragging a bit more these guys drag a bit more last one to hit just a bit more offset stuff in uh, that's very technical note offset stuff 
offset legs on that fall. See, this was better. That overshoot there, I think you can overshoot and come back a bit more in the body. But how wiggly those legs are, doing that's cool. See that now I'm buying it. How is he going forward? So now you're having this. I'll be careful with how much of body moving you have. You could potentially start more with the limbs and then the body follows. So it's kind of because it's pretty far back out here, and the way to rotate forward is to kind of swing those legs down. That gives him that forward momentum so that the body can come down. Which feels a bit more like he's out of control, tiny bit, given that it's drunk, he or she. Yeah, and that feels weird too, so... So I will bring up this leg, you know, grab a spike in here, whatever you have, and then... No, 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 then that way you could have this leg a bit here, and then that way this pincher has a cleaner silhouette. Uh, and then you could leave this here, leave this here, bring this guy a bit higher for separation so that the pincher is here. Just cleaning up the silhouette a bit on, uh, on those legs. All right. That is kind of it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Not too sure. It's, it's definitely dynamic with a diagonal line here. I'm not sure if you need it. Um, and I'm not too sure if you need that massive camera move either. You know, maybe if you have foreground elements, so it's a bit more obvious and things going by just to give it more perspective and make that interesting. But just as a shot, it's not really needed. It could be also more interesting to be more static and you just do a lot of panning and tilting to kind of try to reframe that character, which might add to the drunkenness. Like, you know, the camera person is trying to reframe and constantly find find the, the crap. Because they're always moving left and right. I and mean, that might be more interesting. Although if you do that, then of course you would have to look at silhouette because it would kind of change the position of the silhouette. Um, so I'm just curious, what is the choice for you? Why such a Dutch angle? Um, overall, I'm not opposed to camera moves. That's a bit more what we do. So it's not, I'm not opposed. It's not a massive story point here. So it's, you can argue it's not really needed, but if you have it, why not for interest? But then I will put little stones here, like I said, something in there. And if it happens to be underwater, even though you go away, he's drinking underwater, but who knows, you know, like there's always some, some license and you could have fish and some floaty things go by. But again, my, I'm assuming given this drop and the weight and everything, this is on land. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.